Ang missioner ko, nahin lang muna na yung reaction niyo dun sa creation of the mega task force on corruption. Ang ginawa ng front and center yung campaign against corruption ni President Duterte and you're part of the mega task force. Ano, ano po yung reaction niya? Ano yung biggest na nakikita niyong siguro problema? Sa, because it's such a, it's such a huge um, one. We, we were... We were expecting this to happen po. Um, it's a welcome development kasi po yung um, restriction or limitation ng jurisdiction namin, mapupunuan po nitong task force. Mm. The Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission is only authorized to investigate presidential appointees. Um, yung mga elected officials, congressmen, uh, local government units in um, yung mga government employees under salary 26, wala po kami jurisdiction and that um, poses problems sa amin pong mga investigation dahil ang corruption kasi yung taas baba yan eh. So kaya with the task force, similar to and with our experience sa task force failure, masyado effective po ito. So um, kasi nga we are able to borrow from each other's jurisdiction, reports, and recommend um, reports and um, findings. So, um, really, ako, I'm really excited to uh, start this um, going. Uh, pero hindi ba yung coverage nyo nga, yung jurisdiction nyo, when you think about it, your jurisdiction covers the big fish. Uh, so, when you say that you have restrictions now, uh, what are those restrictions? Uh, it seems to me that they're referring to, for example, private contractors in the case of the PWH. Uh, so, uh, our. That, yeah, go ahead. The, the limits of our jurisdiction, sir, ma'am, uh, are only for presidential appointees. So, yan po yung secretaries, undersecretaries, assistant yeah. secretaries. And directors, and regional direct, not all directors. Siguro at uh, pinakamababa sa amin, Director 3. Uh, meron pa ka, Director 1 to 4 po yan before it goes up to ASEC. Ngayon, pag bumaba na sa mga Director 1, 2, Supervisors, um, yung mga mas mabababang ranking, yes. sandigan na po nag-fall for civil service, so ombudsman, so... Uh, Doon po medyo nahirap ako, especially yung um, mga elected officials. Ang dami yung complaints sa mga LGUs, sa mga uh, elected officials, um, uh, yun nga, legislators, na hindi namin mahawakan dahil nga presidential appointees lang po ang aming, um, ang aming jurisdiction sa PECC. Kasama ho ba, for example, si Secretary Villar? You are investigating the DPWH primarily, uh, but the President at the same time has already uh, given Secretary, apparently given Secretary Villar uh, a free pass kasi mayaman naman daw siya at uh, malamang hindi siya corrupt. Uh, from your point of view po, should he also be investigated as, as a matter of principle? Um... Kasi, you sir, ano kami? Um, I am an appointed uh, official. I work for the president, basically. So, kung ano yung direction niya, that's what we take. Um, uh, so, so you're not sir. going to? So, so, you're not? Well, hindi. We clear yung sinabi ni uh, President Duterte. So, hindi. But, however, um, things may change if evidence will present itself. Pero sir, hindi ba alangan ninyo na the, the premise being pag mayaman ka, hindi ka magdanako? Because that virtually says na ang magdanako lang talaga, eh yung walang pera, mm -hmm. samantala yung mayaman, <laughs> hindi nila kala ng pera, hindi sila magdanako. But in truth, sir, eh, historically, yung mga may hirap, baray lang nakukuha, yung mayaman, ang million, million, billion, billion. Billion, billion. Meron mga mayaman na magdanako pa rin. Pero alam niyo, sir, um, um, iba kasi pagka meron ng ebidensya. So, things may change. So, okay. So, so ito, 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 ito. So, what you're saying, po, e, kung may rason, kung may ebidensya, you're open to investigating Secretary Villar. Of course. Th okay. that, is, that is always the case. Um, example, sir, dyan, yung dito nga ako sa issues ng legislators. Wala naman kami jurisdiction sa legislators, eh, pero 
we can't keep a blind eye dun sa mga nagsasubmit sa amin, mga nag-report sa amin, contractors, mga taong bayan na nag-report. So, and, sinasama ho namin sa report yun and then we pass it to the president and to the um, appropriate agency for action. 